away from his father when he cried out, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? But the father, though he loved him still, was turning away from him in another sense as he was pouring his wrath out on him in the place of our sin, for our sin. That's what was going on. And they were saying, hey, if you come down from the cross, we'll believe in you. Why don't you come down here? Physician, heal yourself. Save yourself if you're really the son of God. But what did Jesus do? He refused to yield. He refused to yield. God the Father was willing to yield even his own son and deliver him up for us all. And the son refused to yield at the cross to the temptations to get down and to condemn us to hell in doing so. That's our Savior. Amen. That's the one who cried out, it is finished. Amen. And it is from him and by his spirit that we are given the, the selflessness to yield in Home Depot and to not yield in front of the television. All right? Amen. Let's pray. Amen. Father, thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. God, we cry out for holiness. We cry out for you to encourage us that you are not done with us. You forgive us our sins. God, please turn us away from the, the path of the unrighteous, the path of the ungodly. Save us from sitting, standing in the path of sinners, from sitting in the seat of the scornful, the hateful, the mockers. Father, help us to be in your word where we hear that you love us, where we hear it is finished, where we hear one day you will be conformed to the image of Jesus. Hang in there, walk with me, trust me, believe my love for you. Where we hear that, we will be like a tree planted by streams, cultivated streams, man-made, farming, forever streams of living water to bear fruit. Father, do this by your love through the gospel of Jesus in our hearts this week. Make us more holy as a people, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.